Hey guys, we're live here at E3 2011, and we're here with Toronto son of Michael Murray. I'm Rip from Level the Game, and we're Steven from TakenLive.com. So let's start out the interview. Yeah, it's not very common. That's just because it's on the 3DS, where it's just both the images are being written. No, I mean, yeah, that's why usually the frame rate drops, yeah. but we don't want, we didn't want that. I don't know how to fucking. It's actually, it does run single worlds on the 3DS, and that's actually really cool. Yeah, I mean, that, they don't have the game to do that. Yeah. Wow. And so can we see it? Oh, there we go, attacks. Wow, that was really nice to hear. Yeah, no, I was kind of Yeah, so, since it's just a tech demo, you can't like, right. play it. Like, so do you guys have plans for the game as far as... I mean, it's going to be a fighting game. It's not going to be an RPG or anything like that, right? No. And, and is the game going to follow the detective storyline? Or is it kind of its own thing? え、ちゃんと的なのそれ。そうね。あの、あの、ま、単なる、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま
time before the match. Exactly. That's best figure. So it's safe to say then that there won't be net play in it either? Uh, no net play. As right. far as selling it separately, he said that wasn't the plan, but if right. everyone says, hey, we want you to make it available on PSN, maybe we'll do it. So you guys announced the Blu-ray. Is there also going to be a DVD for you know, DVD? everyone else? Or no DVD play? Yeah, um, probably not. I mean, the Blu-ray, the reason why it's on the Blu-ray is because if we can have the, the movie with it, we can have the, the game with it, we also have some other cool stuff that we haven't announced yet, all along that same this I think, so, uh, with match other platforms. Right. Okay. Alright, so I think that's all my questions for those games. And uh, <laughs> all those announcements. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything for well, those? Because like, I'm actually kind of interested in the movie. Like, you guys signed up like a really hardcore cast. Like, it's basically some of the biggest names in Japan for voice acting, directing, art production. Uh, is this something that you guys are trying to move forward with and maybe do like multiple ones if this one really catches on? And do what? Uh, like, like maybe do multiple or... movies. いや、かなりいるメンバーキャスターですね。で、それはやっぱりこうこの後のこの考えを聞いてやってるんで。じゃあもうあの、この後のことを考えてやってたら、あの、その時その時のものがよくならないので、あんまりね、そこまで後のこと
will America have a Tekken Tag 2 machine that we can play on? Outside. Say it in the arcade <laughs> after release. <laughs> アーケードでリリースされますかね。これ、みんな勘違いしてるんだけど、俺らがブルーアナイトが決めてんじゃないんだよね。アメリカがのにアーケードがあるかどうかって、アーケードのお店をなくしてるのは俺らじゃないでし
Um, but he he said that the way he looks at it is that it's not like it's a boom. I mean, a lot of people say it, fighting games are in or fighting games are on the decline depending on when we talk about it. But that's not really the case, at least not with tech games. Um, and that people who really like fighting games, it isn't about whether someone else is playing it or not. It's more about that they enjoy uh, playing the game and seeing their progression of their skills as they get better at the game, or that particular installment, or a character, or what have you. Um, so people who are really interested in it, it shouldn't be as important. Um, it's hot. Um, that said, we do try to, to put as much into the console versions as we can uh, to make them as attractive as possible. And it, it is difficult. We have an arcade version that we have to release because arcades are, are very profitable and they take off in a lot of areas of the world still. Um, but if we put out a console version right away, it right, kills that whole market. So first we need an arcade version. We have to have a suitable amount of time after that before we release a console. So then when we do that, of course, we always try to put a lot in for the fans to keep them happy with the console versions. Uh, and of course, we do want to make the wait as short as possible right on, to please everyone. Um, and also, I just mentioned how does on uh, also we made, we hired Filthy Rich as a committee manager uh, to help out the tech and see, to make everyone aware of what we're doing, to keep them excited. But not only that, you know, we hope to uh, have them plan some events Uh, the situation isn't always ideal, but we're doing the best we can, and we have a lot of ideas about uh, to improve the situation. So you guys are working on it in some way behind the scenes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying we can make an arcade. Well, we can't make a whole arcade scene revive. No, of course yeah, not. Right. Uh, we do have a lot of plans. I mean, I, I feel very passionate about it, and I talked to Harrison. He, a lot of my ideas and a lot of his ideas. He said, "Let's do it." So. Uh, whether we can or not, I don't know, but we, we are trying to work for people at it, so... But, I mean, the fans that support the, the game, that's the most important one, so... We don't want to screw you guys over, we just screw you over, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna make that my cell phone ring. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have um, Yeah, I was kind of, like, interested with... Because the game obviously looks a lot better. Is that because you guys want to have a game change? Is that more like a, just game. more like a technical... ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、ハブ、
まあ、みんなが言ってるアンチエイリアスっていうのじゃないと思うんですけど。